Jean and hello to each and every one of you. In today's video, I wanted to show you how to make taro coconut sticky rice wrapped in banana leaves. This can be commonly seen in Lao, Thai, and Vietnamese cuisine. And sometimes you'll see it being filled with banana, with red beans, with black beans, uh, quite a lot of different types of filling. But today I'm going to be showing you the taro coconut version because I love taro with coconut and sticky rice. So let's get to it and start cooking. Let's go. Let's start with making the taro coconut filling first. In a steamer, I'm going to place in some taro that I have cut into chunks like this. I recommend cutting it into chunks so that it cooks a lot faster and it'll be easier to mash up. Place this straight into the steamer, cover this with a lid and allow this to steam for about 20 to 25 minutes or until it is fork tender. And it should be pretty soft like this. Now we're going to switch over and place the cooked taro into a really good nonstick pan. We're gonna add in some sugar, some salt, and give this a really good mash, just to allow the sugar and the salt to dissolve nicely into the taro, and it'll be a lot easier to cook. And then we're gonna add in some coconut milk. Give this a really good stir and turn on the heat on medium, and allow this to cook until it is fully thickened. And make sure you keep stirring it as you go because you do not want to burn the filling. So after cooking it for about five minutes or so, you'll start noticing it getting thicker. And usually you can tell when this is pretty much done is when the filling doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan. At this point, the filling is done. Turn off the heat and you should have a consistency like this. The last thing we're going to add in here is some freshly grated coconut. I highly recommend using fresh grated coconut for better flavor and texture. Add this straight into it and mix this until it is fully incorporated in with the taro. I'm going to spread the filling onto a plate just so it cools a lot faster. Cover this with plastic wrap touching it and place this in the fridge until it is fully cooled. In the meantime, let's do the rice. So here I have some long grain sticky rice or also known as glutinous rice. And I highly recommend using the long grain version versus the short grain version. It just has a lot more flavor to it. So before I start soaking this, I do like to rinse it a few times. Drain this really well. And then we're gonna add in some hot boiling water. It has to be hot boiling water. Give this a really good stir and you want to let it soak and sit for 30 minutes. I highly recommend no more than 30 minutes or else your rice will be extremely soft. So 30 minutes is a pretty good time spot for it. After it has soaked, I'm gonna drain this. Let this sit and drain while we do the coconut sugar syrup. So in a really good nonstick pan, I'm gonna add in some crushed palm sugar. I do like to crush it so it's a lot easier to melt. I have one pandan leaf that I've bundled up like this. I'm going to add in some sea salt and some coconut milk. And this is the coconut milk that I'm using. I love using this one for almost all of my desserts and cooking. Turn the heat on to medium and allow the sugar to dissolve. Make sure you stir it so it doesn't burn on the bottom. After a few minutes or so, the sugar has dissolved. At this point, we're gonna add in the rice. I'm gonna stir this and cook this on medium heat until the sticky rice have absorbed most of the moisture. So roughly around eight minutes, this is the consistency that I like. I'm gonna turn off the heat and just let this sit for about five minutes to allow the sticky rice to soak up all of the excess moisture. After a few minutes or so, this is the perfect thickness to have so that we can actually wrap it in the banana leaf. The rice should still be a little bit al dente. Before we start filling, don't forget to remove the pandan leaf here. 
and then we are ready to fill. So I went to my garden and picked our fresh banana leaves here. But you could definitely use banana leaves from your local grocery store if they have it. And I do like to leave it in the sun to allow the heat to wilt the banana leaf a little bit to allow it to be a little bit more flexible to work with. After I gathered all of my banana leaves, I do like to give it a really good rinse and then cut it into squares like this. And we're going to be working with the lines going vertically so it'd be a lot easier for us to fold instead of going horizontally. And you'll notice one side is a lot greener than the other so if you turn and flip it over this one's a lot lighter. We're going to fill it on this side. So I'm going to be using a cookie scooper for even distribution. Just one scoop of this and spread it with a spatula. Add as much of the taro coconut filling as you like. And then we're just gonna do half a scoop right on top to cover and then just spread it to cover. And pretty much just fold one end over to the other end. And once you get to this part here, I'm just going to tuck in the sides and that's pretty much it. So this is pretty much done. You don't have to seal it if you don't want to. You could just place it face down like this and steam it like this. But I do like to seal this with picks so that it's a lot more sturdier when I do cook it and it holds its shape and it doesn't open up. So I'm just going to take a toothpick and just seal it on both ends here and it should look something like this. Now you could definitely wrap this in any shape that you like. This is just my preference, but you have the freedom to do whichever shape and size you like. You can make this even smaller than this, but I'm going to continue finishing the rest and then we are ready to steam. Place this into the steamer, cover and steam for about 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, it's pretty much done. Allow this to cool before you enjoy it. You could definitely eat this as is like this. It is delicious as is like this, but I do like to grill it just for extra flavor and texture, but you could definitely enjoy it like this as is. But if you do want a bit of char and extra texture, you can definitely just put it on a pan and allow it to brown on both sides. Here I'm using my pancake griddle and I'm just going to place this on here at about 400 degrees Fahrenheit and allow the heat to brown it on both sides. I usually leave it on the griddle here for roughly around 8 minutes or so or even longer depending on how crispy I want the rice to cook up to. Now the banana leaves might look like they're burnt, but the rice inside is actually not doing anything. So you want it quite charred. For me, I like something like this. Now it's quite black and charred, but once you open it, I'll show you how it looks like on the inside. looks something like this. Now the other side is perfectly charred and a little bit crispy just like this. Other than that, allow this to cool before you enjoy it or you can also just eat it warm. But that is it for the taro coconut sticky rice wrapped in banana leaves. You could definitely let them all cool and store in a Ziploc bag and put it in the fridge and it will last roughly around four to five days. Just rewarm it when you want to eat it again. Other than that, I hope you can give this recipe a try. Until then, I will see you in my next video.